A troubling moment following Vice President Kamala Harris's rally in Houston Friday night. And I know, I'm going to tell them what y'all just said. Uh, and I know we are all so deeply grateful to Joe Biden for his lifetime of service to our nation, including my dear friends, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, Senator Jackie Rosen, who we will re-elect to the United States Senate. Look at the woman right here next to Kamala. Watch your eyes. Watch it. Watch it. Here it comes. Oh my God. A woman is captured on video shouting in a little girl's face. The woman in the blue t-shirt bends down to yell at the little girl who's sitting in a stroller. A Harris supporter pushes the woman away and appears to tell her not to yell at the baby. The exact cause of the confrontation remains unclear, but the child's father appeared to be holding a microphone indicating he was addressing the crowd before the verbal assault. Uh, the video has more than 21 million views. For service and hospitality workers. But perhaps there is no better example of how differently these administrations will run and make policy than at two rallies over the weekend where someone called out Jesus is Lord at a Kamala Harris rally and someone called out Crisis King at a J.D. Vance rally. And their reactions were chalk and cheese. Look at how Kamala reacted to this fellow in the crowd simply calling out Jesus is Lord. With the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. <laughs> oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. street just mocking him those two young men then talked to fox news sharing their experience of then being ushered out of the rally they weren't even allowed to stay for simply stating jesus is lord now you don't have to be a christian you don't have to be a catholic but where's the tolerance where's the inclusion kamala and co and let's not forget within hours of this kamala was rocking up at a church trying to play the christian card <laughs> I mean, the hypocrisy <laughs> here. One minute, well, somebody gets booted out of your rally for yelling, yeah. Jesus is Lord. And the next, well, I'm, I'm at church. But we're 15 days away from the most important election in the history of our country. Talk to and called out the week. But perhaps yell at the baby, at the little girl. A woman is captured on video shouting in a little girl's face. <laughs> Catherine Cortez Masto. Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is only begotten Son. Name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. And as you see on the screen right here, real quick, um, this is a Kamala Harris rally. All right. And uh, pretty much a demon manifests behind her. Okay. And I thought it was very disgusting and weird how they kept calling this individual a woman, which you can clearly tell that's not a woman. All right. That's not a woman. Um, another thing is, too, the people that be behind these individuals at these rallies, they're all insiders. You don't you don't just put anybody behind them because, you know, they're on camera. But, but they're all insiders. I remember, um, you know, Trump had a rally a, a, a few years back. And uh, you had Grandmaster Jay behind him, man. Then this guy comes out with the whole, uh, you know, not effing around uh, 
polarization or whatever. So these are all insiders. And this particular insider at Kamala Harris's rally, the demons manifested on this damn demon, man. All right, the demons ma manifested. And this right here just go to show you what time we're in. All right, we're in some very, very spiritual times. And things are about to get very, very supernatural in these last days, you know, which is, you know, everything happens in the spiritual before it happens in the physical. But we're going to start seeing these things, you know, take place on a physical plane like never before. OK, you're going to see demons manifesting in front of you. And all these people are being led by evil spirits and by, by unclean spirits, you know, and even, you know, what they believe in, you know, um, you know, they're pro abortion. They're, you know, pretty much against, you know, righteousness. All right. And because of that, that's, you know, it's, these things are starting to manifest and they're starting to be, to be seen. If you have the eyes to see and ears to hear, you're going to catch this. All right. But those who don't, they're just going to be la di da da at a rally voting for, you know, devils. All right, let's grab a few scriptures just touching on this point. I want to start off with Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And you got to be paying attention. Circumspectly means to be looking around. You know, everywhere I go, I'm, I'm, I'm always on guard. I'm always watching. I'm always looking because you never know what something can pop off. You know, you never know what the Lord might, you know, do around you, you know, or, or you know, you know, us, even us being spiritual. You got demons that want that want you. You know, you got demons that want to take you out, you see. So you got to stay on your spiritual guard. It says redeeming the time because the days are evil. We have some very evil times, man. All right. And this whole thing, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few more videos concerning this Kamala Harris character and, um, you know, these elections. All right. Because they're saying how they're, they're possibly going to do a cyber attack. They're, well, they were planning on doing a cyber attack on the day of the elections. But people reported on it and they said, oh, yeah, we're going to postpone it, which it could be two, three days later. But the point is, they want to do a cyber attack, and they're about to shut off the fucking lights. They're about to go, it's about to get crazy out here, man. And that's when the demons are going to really come out, all right? The freaks come out at night. So when they, when, they, when these ain't no lights out here, and we got an example of that down here in Tampa with uh, this hurricane. It knocked out a bunch of, of uh, you know, pretty much damn near, you know, all of Tampa lost electricity. You know, people started acting crazy and stuff. So imagine if you go months, you know, without electricity. It's going to be Mad Max out here, man. All right. But, you know, the point is, too, is that these are not just people that we're dealing with. These are evil spirits. All right. These people have demons on them. Let's go over here. It says on um, Ephesians chapter six. It says um, <laughs> Ephesians chapter six, verse uh, 10, it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And this is the time we're in. It's time for brothers to, you know, to get on the fucking level, man. Hey, you got to put on the whole armor. You got to be, you know, on it. You know, you just ain't the time to be bullshitting and, you know, uh, 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 diddly dabbling around. No, this is the time to get on it. OK, because something is about to happen in, in, in this place. And, you know, it's going to be unprecedented to anything we've ever seen before. The Lord told us that we're coming to a time worse than any time in history. Here's the point. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's what you're seeing right here. All right. This is this isn't a battle of flesh and blood. This is a spiritual battle. All right. And these demons are moving spiritually. All right. They're 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 they're, they're jumping on people. And cause them to lash out and act all crazy. I'm seeing it, bro. I'm seeing it. It's just around me everywhere I go. Different individuals that 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 that, that, that I know or come in contact with, they got demons on them. All right, and those demons seem to be, you know, <laughs> to have an issue with me, which I understand why, and you should understand why too. Okay, you know them those demons. You know when the, when the, when the um when the vagabond Jews tried to cast out those demons, they said, uh, yeah, how shy I know and Paul I know, but who are you? So these demons, they know who we are. If you're serving your whole body, your shy sincerely and in truth, these demons, they know who you are. And they, you know, they they they, they want to, you know, gr you know, grab you up. You know, they, they want to put you to death. But it's that our angels that's protecting us through the spirit of your body, your shy. And I did a video a while back. A couple of years, um, you know, maybe a year ago. Going into uh, Kamala, uh, not Kamala. Um, uh, damn, what's her name? Nancy Pelosi. She was uh, being filmed and she was looking in the mirror. That's why these individuals never like to look in the mirrors. 
but she was looking in the mirror and a demon manifested on her face. So these individuals that's in these position of power, they're actually dealing with spirits, man. Bringing it back. They're actually, you know, dealing with, dealing with demonic spirits. Okay, this is how they get into these position of power. Okay, they got to sell out and deal with demons. Let's go right here. It says, um, this is going to the word principalities. Strong's G746, Arche, Arche. And it says, um, just get right to the point. It says, um, of angels and demons, okay? Of angels and demons. So that's what these individuals are dealing with. They're dealing with demons, okay? They're making, uh, you know, they're doing all, all type of witchcraft and sorceries. So you got to pay attention. In the NLT, it says, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. You see, we are fighting against demons, man. You, you know, you got to understand that when somebody does something, I, and I understand this very well, because people be doing a little weird shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You know, what's up with this individual? But you got to remember, it's not the individual. It's the demons that's on the individual. It's deeper than, you know, what meets the eye. It says against the mighty powers, against mighty powers in this dark world. And against evil spirits in heavenly places. You see? So we are battling against evil spirits, man. Okay? And this is why we got to stay on our guard, man. You got to, you know, get deep into this thing. Don't, 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 don't just be, you know, uh, straddling the fence in this thing. You know, you got to, you got to choose a side. Because when, 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 when these demons really turn up, anybody who's weak, they're going to get you, man. The Lord said, when he comes, shall he find faith on earth? A lot of people are going to give up on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They're going to forsake Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's why the Lord is only coming for a remnant. Right now, hey, hey, that's cool. You got, you know, you can make a little YouTube, go out there and put on a garment or put on your shirt fringes. And yeah, 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 yeah sure. But when this shit really go down to, to the nitty and gritty, hey, only the stronger are going to survive. And I'm not talking about physical strength. I'm talking about spiritual strength. You're going to have to be strong in the spirit. You know, a lot of guys are bugging the hell out right now. A lot of guys are losing the faith right now. How much more when this shit really turn up? All right. This is this is a warning. You know, wake up, snap out of it. Get your shit together. I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, because, hey, when this thing comes down the pike, many people are going to fold. It says, therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. We got to take advantage of prayer, fasting, all these things you got to take advantage of, man. OK. Uh, you know, do less for the flesh and more for the spirit. It says, um, resist the devil in the, in, in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. So after this battle, a lot of people ain't going to be still standing firm. A lot of people are going to be weak. They, they, they're going to be overtaken. They're going to be overcome. And that could be any of us. Well, we got to always pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh don't take a spirit from us. It says, stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth. And the body armor of the Most High's righteousness, the shoes, for shoes put on the peace that comes from the from the good news, so that you will be fully prepared. And that's the point, man. You want to be fully prepared. It says, in addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery darts, the fiery arrows of the devil. Okay, and that's what time we're in. These devils are going to start. Shooting these fiery darts at us, man. They've been doing it, but it's, they're going to get more, you know, uh, blunt with it. It says, put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. You should be praying, man, all day, every day. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere and that's what we do we pray for the elect man whoever they may be all around the world we pray for the elect and pray that we be a part of that number it says and pray for me too ask the most high to give me the right word so i can boldly explain god's mysterious plan that the good news is for the jews and gentiles alike which is israelites all right jake jakes that know they're israelites and jakes that do not know yet know they're israelites but they're going to come into this thing and be a part of the body all right but that's the point you know, a praise list has been edifying to the whole flex. It's a quick one in the spirit. But we in this time, man. All right, we in this time. Things are only going to get worse and become more and more evident, you know, who the Lord is dealing with in these last days. If you can't see it by now, 
It's because the Lord has blinded you, probably more than likely, for your destruction. You know, the Lord has blinded you for your destruction, man. You know, so pray. Hey, seek your help, Shem El Shai, in truth and sincerity. Hey, repent daily. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, I'm coming, Shalom, Allah, Baba, Baba, praise the short lessons, the edifying, the hopeful, like, double honest, our teachers, the elders, and the apostles, great millstone who taught us his truth, truth and sincerity. Shalom.